Right, okay guys, you're going to want to fill a bowl with shredded paper and then soak it entirely with water. I'm just going to show you quickly here what it looks like. You're going to want to squish it all down and make sure it is completely and utterly submerged with water to make sure it soaks up all of that moisture and breaks down Hello easily. Hi Year 5. Okay, so today we are going to be making our recycled handmade paper now unfortunately i can't do it like a blue peter blue blah, 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 blue peter style moment um i haven't made one ready i'm hoping this one turns out well um so yeah fingers crossed if i can do it you guys can do it okay so the night before, I soaked my newspaper and paper. I did newspaper as well as paper because I wanted to have um, just paper which had slightly different colours dotted throughout it, etc. Okay, and I think most of you have paper, newspaper at home, surprisingly more so than plain paper itself. I'm just going to quickly show you what sort of consistency you need it at. Okay, because in the morning or after it's been soaked, it will still be in its state that you tore and cut it into strips, okay? You're gonna to wanna to use your hands and really tear it apart. I'll show you what I did to try and get it down to this really thick, a lovely porridge-like mixture, okay? Okay, right. So as you can see, I've got it into a nice, wide, flat tray. And I've done this because of we need to be able to dip our frame into it so if it was in a bowl i wouldn't be able to dip it in okay so what you're going to want to do is you kind of want mm, 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 this lovely porridge like texture and consistency now you can still see some big lumps here can't you okay so what i did was i don't know if you can see that i'm kind of picking it up and rubbing it between my fingers can you see that my thumbs I'm using my thumbs to rub it between my fingers. Ooh, lovely. Okay, to get that porridge-like uh, texture. Okay. You might want to wash your hands again after doing this. And you might, if you've used newspaper, you might expect... Oh, there's a big lump. Okay. So I see that same technique. Rubbing it up between my um, thumbs and fingers. And just... I don't know if you can see that <laughs> and, and you want to kind of go around dig up underneath because you'll see other large pieces as well anyway once you have got rid of all of those large pieces you're going to want to get your frame and dip it into this mixture and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now right okay guys so before, oh, you can see the newspaper, the ink staining my fingers. So before you move on to dipping in your frame that you've made, okay, which I'm gonna show you now, you're gonna to wanna to have everything prepared and ready in front of you. So I'm gonna quickly show you what that looks like. Okay, so laid out on my table, I have got my lovely paper mulch. The finer you can get that, the better. I have also got my frame, that I have made where I've put tights around it ready okay that's gonna sieve out all of the water I forgot to mention but I also found some dried up um, flowers okay and some sprigs of um, I think it's lavender that I want to put on my paper to make it floral and I've got my cloth my cloth to basically put my frame once we've put the mulch onto it okay and we're going to transfer it immediately over to this cloth and i put an old tea towel underneath that as well so that the water doesn't damage the table okay so that's what you'll need ready your frame your paper mulch any decorations you want to put on top of it and a dry place to transfer it immediately afterwards I just want to really quickly talk to you guys about the frames that you can make as well. So all I did was I got an old, and that has to be wire. You couldn't do this with anything else and it's wire for a reason because you can literally pull it. So I'll try and push it back to the shape it was. Hulk strength, okay? You just pull it 
out into the best frame shape you possibly can, the best square frame shape you can get, okay? And then all I did with my tights, let me just show you, was you've got the legs. Now these are old tights, okay? So I'm using lovely brand new ones. I just got the legs and I got the waist bit, okay? And I popped the frame through the waist bit. Whoop. And that, I put it all the way through. Actually, I could hook, sorry, just talking to myself here really. Hook this over and you've got your filter, okay? I'm gonna take that off so you can see what it looks like a bit better. I should probably take out this leg. One second. There we go, that's a bit better. Looks a bit strange, but it saves you actually cutting up those tights in case anyone actually wants them, okay? But you could also use, if you don't have um, a wire coat hanger, okay? A picture frame. Now, please ask an adult if you can use this picture frame because I know I'd be in big trouble if I didn't ask, okay, if it wasn't mine. So, and you can do exactly the same thing with a picture frame, place your tights over the picture frame and you are done, okay? You kind of want to hold it quite tight so it's nice and taut when you're doing it. Okay, perfect. Right, let's begin. Right, okay, so like I said before, I've got everything in place, so I'm not panicking and possibly causing an accident with this. So I've got my frame ready, and all you're simply gonna do is you want to dip it in and submerge it underneath. Now this isn't quite deep enough, so I'm gonna have to kind of bring the pulp to the top but can you see what I'm doing and you're going to want to bring the pulp over onto the top okay if it's not in the traditional formal paper sort of shape okay so I'm just bringing this up over if you've got a deep enough tray you, uh, with a lot more water, you should just be able to submerge that, okay? And that is the result I have got, okay? So, what I want to do actually, whilst it's still on here, I'm gonna grab my little bits of flour. I'm not sure how well these are gonna stick in. They might fall out. So, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Now it's better if they are dried, but it doesn't matter if they're not. Okay, I'm gonna put a little sprig in the middle there. Okay, right. Try and make sure though, you haven't got too many thin spots and that it's kind of more or less the same thickness all the way around. Okay, so, goodness me, doesn't that just look delicious? I am joking, by the way. Right, okay, so I've tried to get it into a square shape, but like I said, it's not essential. And then I'm simply gonna lift that up and off. Okay, that's where the tights come in handy, guys. I'm guessing you can push out a bit more moisture if you really wanted to. Okay, and I'm going to transfer it over onto my paper. Okay, so once your, let me just move this out the way. So once your paper is over on top, onto your paper, now I'm super glad I've got tea towel underneath this. Okay, and it, you may need another one because there is a lot of moisture in this. What you're going to want to do is really squeeze out any of that moisture and really flatten it. Oh, that is a satisfying sound. Flatten it out and then, oh, make sure you don't get any parts that break. And then, do, 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 do. I keep saying and then, but not actually doing anything. One second. And then you're gonna to wanna to get a blue paper towel or some water paper towel. 
and just simply put a lot of pressure and roll that carefully, not picking up if you've got any dried leaves over the top. Can you see how much water is coming out of that? Okay. Right, I'm going to do that again until we've got as much moisture out as we possibly can. And I'll come back to you with the dried paper. Okay guys, right, so I took my frame and I was like, oh, I just want to be able to see my paper finished. And I was getting a little bit impatient. So what I did was, I took this frame, okay, and I put, um, to start with, I put a tea towel underneath and I put a tea towel on top. Now ask an adult to help you with this or do it for you because of it's quite risky and I don't want any of you to get hurt. Okay, so warning, um, you need to, uh, I, I just started ironing it, but obviously I didn't put the iron straight on top of this. I had a tea towel over the top and a tea towel underneath. I ironed that for a few moments to get out the majority of the moisture after using our blue towel, etc. I then took it upstairs and I used a hairdryer on it for about five to 10 minutes and it dried enough for me to be able to flip it over. And then I dried both sides and da -da 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 we did it. Now, can you see? So I'm gonna trim this in a minute and I'm gonna show you the final result at the end. But can you see how it's really important to have the same thickness all the way around because of I had now it's very normal to have little bits that sort of like break off and fly. Oh, that's out of focus. Fly away. OK, but you can see here. I don't know if you can see. Ooh. OK, little bits that are breaking off. Now, I, I'm just going to talk to you and trim it at the same time. So few tips when you're drying it be patient now this is not completely fully dry yet it's going to take about a full day 24 hours for it to be completely bone dry but you can do so much with this now i've got it's my mother's birthday coming up soon mrs gusani's birthday and i think i could turn this into a beautiful birthday card okay and it's best to trim this oh when it is completely dry now i don't know if you can see here oh you probably can't see it no or maybe there's just a slit a, a crack here okay so make sure when you're pressing it down okay so we all make mistakes just make sure when you are pressing it down okay that you are binding all of those pieces of paper together really mush them together and i don't think i spent enough time doing that when it was on this frame when I first took it out. You really wanna like make sure they're all squished and mushed together so that they really bind and stay strong as a piece of paper. So I have just cut off, oh, a little bit wonky, all of the pieces and this is the final piece of paper. I am so pleased with it. And I'm definitely going to do a drawing. So you can have petals, flowers, plants on it. Now they will, these are still a little bit wet, the petals and plants. And you can always just leave it plain on the back. It could be really fun if you had, oh, if you had coloured pieces of paper in this, that would look amazing. I, I think you could paint pieces of paper, but the paint might come off when you've put it in water. Um, so I suggest using newspaper and magazines as well as plain paper because can you see you've got all of these dots and speckles and bits of colour and it looks really awesome okay and this is actually where the blue has bled from the beautiful plant that I use as well so I am super chuffed with that if I can do it first time around you guys can do it and I've got a lot more left over so I can do it quite a few more times and yeah just have fun super proud go for it guys